Hello and welcome. My name is Roger Kwok and I teach physics and chemistry here at Leeward Community College. And today I'm going to show you something that's kind of cool. Okay, it is something that makes a big bang. It's called a paper popper. And who doesn't like to make big bangs nowadays? You know, especially for Halloween, you can go ahead and scare people. Or if your dad is sleeping on the couch, you can go bang and wake him up. So let's see how we can do that. This is really easy. All you need is a piece of paper, a scratch paper to do, recycled paper. And what you do is you take the length of the paper and you fold it in half. Okay, so you take this, fold it in half right down the middle. And it's going to be important you make a nice strong crease in it. Okay, so make sure there's a nice strong crease. You open it up and you take one edge of the paper and fold it right towards the center where the crease is. So again, you're folding it, okay, halfway like this. Okay, just like this. Again, make a nice strong crease. And you do it again. Take it and fold it towards the center again. So you're making that half of the paper smaller and smaller. So again, make a nice crease. So that's the second fold. Now you do it a third time. Okay, third fold all the way to the center, okay, so that it is, again, nice and thick now, and make a nice strong crease right along there. Right now, the last step now is to take this and fold it right at the center one more time down the center. So now you have a nice strong rib right there in the middle of your paper. The next thing you do is take it, turn it over, and fold it lengthwise from here to the edge, okay, and make sure that the folded rib is on the outside. So you can kind of see the edge, the thick rib edge on the outside. So now you should have a piece of paper that looks something like this. And this is now when you can now load it up for the big crack, okay? So the way you do it is you hold on to the side. Notice the side is still connected. Here's the opening. Hold on to that with your thumb and your finger at the corner. And then using your finger and your thumb, push the top down until it kind of wraps and touches at the bottom. Just like that, okay? So where the two joins at the bottom, you're going to go ahead and grab it with your fingertip. And notice that there's these two pockets right here. Those are the popping pockets. And notice that the back kind of slides back and forth like this. Okay. So all you need to do now is just have a nice strong snap using your wrist and it'll make a nice pop. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So when you do it, okay, it will open up. So to reset, reload, all you have to do is again, make that one fold down the middle again and then fold it over. Okay, just like that. Now to load it, hold on to the tip where they are connected. Push the two top edges down until they meet. And then hold on to it with your thumb and finger. And then rotate it so that the pockets face outwards. That's the key. Okay, And nice strong snap with your wrist. Okay, Sometimes if you use a bigger sheet of paper, you can actually make a bigger popper. So here I have made one that looks like this. And you load it the same way. Hold on to the uh, corner. Push it down. Okay, until you see the two pockets that are open like this. So again, from here, you can then go, ooh, that one's a really loud one, okay? So you can now make these big paper popper, very cheap, they're using okay, basically recycled paper, and you can have fun during okay, Halloween and also waking your dad up while he's sleeping on the couch. All right, so have fun, thanks for watching, and I hope you check out some of our other videos, okay? Bye-bye.